Hey guys, uh, I just got off of work, and so I am going to go and get myself a battery for the Valiant, because I want to see if I can't get it started here today. Uh, that'd be great. Then I have to get stuff unloaded from the van, because tomorrow and the next day I'm helping my broheen get the, uh, get his motors moved. So that I'm going to be, got to unload the party van, do that. Get the Valiant running, and we'll be in business. Value power. Optimus for people who need their car to start. Yeah, close enough. It'll fit. It doesn't look like 42-inch straps. Just throwing that out there. And whatever this is is apparently worth... 20 cents because the little disky things cost the same. I'm confused. Hmm. Real cameras are for jumps. I got a cell phone. It looks angry. It's like a Transformer reject and it's mad about not getting into the Transformers movie. All these shelves and nothing to stick my phone on a tripod. <sighs> oh, good thing I got uh, a whole damn workshop. Any chance I could get some assistance? I require that. In this hell. I wonder how late into the year it is that the calendars become free. Yes, of course, so your neighbors can call the fire department on your house when it's not burning down. <laughs> I am hipster trash. Don't judge me! What's with all the Sunday drivers? Don't they know it's Tuesday? That's right, Sadie. That's right. The spirit knows what's up. Yeah. Uh, leaning tower of power. It's like a cat. If I fits, I sits. I'm gonna need a bungee for this. Really? You're gonna do this to me right now on camera. Oh, I need the scrubber. Damn it. I don't know what it is. There's just... Just something inherently horrible about these. Gah. But... Uh, but, well, just gotta suffer. Hear that? Something is drawing gigawatts. Trying out my new tripod. And so, since I flushed the fuel line out, and I've got a brand new gas tank and a brand new sending unit in it, I'm actually going to backfill this with gas so that I'm not trying to suck a bunch of air through the fuel pump. And so that I can get gas to the carburetor sooner without running the battery dead, just turning and turning and turning and turning the motor over. And, of course, the tricky part is doing it with a five-gallon gas can. With one of these god-awful latches, hold-open latches, without pouring gasoline all over the entire engine. And, like, dribble, dribble. Hmm. Well, it's not going down. 
to make sure I'll pop that gas cap off. Well, I guess there's still acid, still acetone from where I flushed it. Hope that isn't going to cause a problem. We'll find out. And hook up the fuel pump. And line up the clamp and why did you decide to come off you frickin' plug wire? Why I can't have nice things. Stay right there, and rubber boot goes there. Rubber boot gets boot, and boot, 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 boot. And all the rest of these okay. Yep. Okay, I just need to screwdriver. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay. Uh, all right, moment of truth. All right, got gas in the, got a couple gallons in the tank. Ah, uh, prime the fuel line. little bit down the carburetor just to give it a little something take a drink uh, no not really all right oh right all right 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 got to hook up the power or else I'd get in there and the key wouldn't do nothing and then I'd be like the what what have I even been doing all this for? Uh, need new battery clamps, but yeah, whatever. This will be good enough to get me something here, I think. Let's see. Oh, lordy. I have not heard that in a long time. Let's see, do I have fuel in the fuel pump yet? Or in the fuel filter? Yes, I do, and Jesus Christ, that stuff is rank. Even though I flushed the fuel line, it's still pretty bad. Oh lordy. Here I thought I was gonna have it. I thought I here I thought I was gonna have a good day. Well, in the interest of not gumming up my newly rebuilt carburetor. Well, not newly rebuilt. It's been sitting here a little while. Uh, uh, I'm gonna unhook this 
fuel line here, if I can figure out what I did with that screwdriver, and put it into this can here, and crank the motor over a little before I uh, uh, fill up the carburetor with old ass fuel line muck. Because that's a... Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. That was a brand new when I started. <laughs> Oh, I need somewhere. I do not need gas all over the exhaust either. At least if I'm not going to. some nasty shit. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, that stuff's pretty bad. Alright. Let's hit that key a little bit more. Let's see if that won't, uh, spray all over the engine compartment. Okay, so I pumped enough into that carburetor to get it started. Okay. How much? Pretty rank. Ugh. Well, hopefully, now I will at least be a little bit nicer. World heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, at putting shit down and forgetting what I did with it. Let's let me see. Or scuff, scuff, scuff. Not sure I got any accelerator pump yet. Probably just a trickle of fuel in that carburetor. Let's see. Oops. Let's see if that... Oh yes, that's much nicer. That is much nicer. Now, let me give it another dribule down the carburetor. If I can figure out where my bottle for that is. Right here. And... Port. Port. Let that vaporize a bit. <clears throat> and then... Oops. Oh, my first car was one of these. Uh, 
Ja. Ja, jo. Runs like a top. Like a top. Hey, oh, yeah. Now, million dollar question. Will it stay running? And how's the... <laughs> yeah, boy. Whew. Stanky, stanky. It's so quiet. This is unacceptable. God damn. <laughs> damn thing's been sitting for thir for thirty goddamn years. Put some gas in it. Whoop whoop whoop. Room. Like a kitten. No, well, not quite. It's kind of. It's got a miss in it. A little bit like. The oh, hell! I've run into these things that run worse. Goddamn. Oh, God damn it. Damn it, I want to drive it so bad. Ah, but it doesn't have any brakes. I need to put brake fluid in it. Ah, God damn it. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Shannon. Shannon. Check this out. Calling you out, buddy. Hell yeah. Oh man. I gotta figure out what that popping is. I think it's although it smells rich. I might need to dial that uh, idle down a little bit. Dial a little less idle fuel. But goddamn! Yeah! Whoop whoop! Oh yeah, it's even got headlights, boy! Oh, oh, and look at this, look at this. Hey. Right. Alternator goes back up. Actually, I think I might need either an alternator or a voltage regulator, I'm not sure. But, hey, it charges. Ugh. I still want to drive it just a little bit, just a little bit, make sure the transmission's good, but I'll be good. I'll be good. Got some heat in it. <sighs> now I gotta do the brakes. Wheel, 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 wheel. <clears throat> Not gonna be able to see real well. And, uh, actually, you can see pretty well in here. Let's see. Right there is why I can't get these damn brakes bled. You can kind of see it right there. One of those lines that I made is leaking. So I've got to remake that brake line, this time with it under the car, which is not what I had in mind. I uh, really was hoping I got that right the first time, but then again, I've never made brake lines before. So I think I did pretty well, only mucking up one side of one of them Ugh. so that's gonna be for another day because I have to get the party van ready what for the big move so this is gonna sit for now Ugh. exasperation <laughs> <laughs>